name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Dear friends, uh, today we are in the second Sunday of Easter, and also called Divine Mercy Sunday. The Divine Mercy derived from the Latin word misericordia, means a heart full of love for the other. And as we celebrate this Divine Mercy Sunday, it's uh, uh, more important for us to reflect upon who God is and who Jesus is for us, a merciful, compassionate, forgiving, and loving God. And as we celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us once again ask God forgiveness for our shortcomings and failures. Lord Jesus, you reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, through your mercy, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you. Oh! 
everlasting mercy who in the very recurrence of the paschal feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own increase we pray the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed by whose spirit they have been reborn by whom blood they have been redeemed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of bread and to the prayers. Awe came upon everyone, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's needs. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple area and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate their meals with exaltation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. And every day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. everlasting 
a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by the power of God are safeguarded through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time. In this you rejoice, although now for a little while you may have to suffer through various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that is perishable, even though tested by fire, may prove to be for praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him who lo- him you love him, even though you do not see him now yet believe in him, you rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And through this belief, you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
dear friends, on that day evening, the disciples were gathered together behind closed doors for fear of the Jews. In many ways, we can relate to that experience on the evening of Easter 2020. We too were gathered in our homes because of a stay at home orders. We were behind closed doors for fear of the coronavirus. The good news of the gospel is that the low dose in fear did not keep Jesus from entry and becoming present to the apostles in his resurrected body. He had an important message to bring them, and it was a message of compassion. Peace be with you. He knew that the apostles were afraid and confused after all they had seen this man whom they loved nailed to a cross. They watched as he bowed his head in death. They witnessed his burial and the rolling of the stone to close his grave. They had heard the sounds or the shouts of mockery in hate from the angry crowds. Their leader was killed and the mission ruined. The only thing they could, could do was gather together and look for some way to make sense of all what had happened. It was in the midst of that doubt, that hurt and confusion, that Jesus appeared and offered them a greeting of peace. Not too long ago, our life were pretty ordinary and good. We came and we went as we wished. We traveled, visited relatives and friends, attended sporting events, went to school, hung out with our friends, enjoyed eating out, felt secure in our jobs, and attended weekend services. Then a pandemic arose and all changed suddenly. We moved to a new unfamiliar way of living. In many ways, we were advised that gathering together was not something we should do. Stay at home, uh, close your business, wash your hands, wear masks, practice social distance, close our schools. So here we are behind closed doors, but we can be reassured that same Jesus who offered peace to his apostles is again offering us the same greeting of peace. The pandemic cannot and will not keep Jesus from coming to stand with us in these trying times. When he showed his wounds in his hands and his sights to his apostles, he was reassuring them that he knew what suffering was. He knows now how we are suffering. And he made it clear the suffering on the cross and death did not stop his mission. He gave it to us to pass it on. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Yes, we have a mission even we are behind closed doors. If we hold on to our faith, we do not have to be afraid. Jesus is always with us. Pain is a sign that we are alive. Problem is a sign that we are strong. Prayer is a sign that we are not alone. Jesus says again, peace be with you. Let us uh, profess our faith. I believe in one God, Christ, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all, all things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, I believe in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten, begotten Son of God, 
born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, gone consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With trust in the divine mercy, we now bring all our prayers before the Lord. That all priests may be effective and compassionate ministers of reconciliation as they administer the sacrament of penance given to us by the risen Christ, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That world leaders may never doubt the power of God's truth and love, but rather take refuge in it as they seek to resolve global problems, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the abundant mercy of our risen Savior may lead all people, especially those who struggle with the inability to forgive, to repentance, forgiveness, and healing, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who have been made ill by the coronavirus, for their families and all those who care for them, may they experience the healing mercy of the Lord and be transformed by God's love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the many throughout the world who have lost their jobs and are struggling to pay rent and to provide the necessities of life for themselves and their families, may they not be forgotten, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may always be witnesses of the risen Lord by what we say and do, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers of our parish, for our twin parish, St. Jean de Chantal, for those who have died and those who grieve them, the intentions of this Mass and those intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. Father, we need your mercy as you answer our prayer. Fill us with a joy that comes from hope and grant us the life that conquers death. We ask this through Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. 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 Trust in their gold, so only their Savior, whose faithfulness never grows old. Sometimes the world may be lonesome, often we may lose our way. Take courage and always remember. Love isn't just for a day. All that we have and all that we offer comes from a heart both frightened and free. Take what we bring now 
and give what we need, all done in his name. Sometimes when troubles are many, life can seem empty, it's true. But look at the life of the Master, who lovingly suffered for you. All that we have and all that we offer comes from a heart both frightened and free. Take what we bring now and give what we need. All done in his name. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may obtain unending happiness. We make this prayer through Christ, O Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times, to acclaim your Lord on this day, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy. Every land, every people accept in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. found for holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave to his disciples, saying, Take this soul of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which would be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child. Once more, giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which would be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis or Pope Walker or Bishop. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone before us, the hope of the resurrection, and to all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Martin, who are pleased throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the prayer Jesus has taught us our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, worries, anxiety, fears, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Jesus bring us life everlasting. Amen.
let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for the gift of our family, gift of faith the gift of good health and uh, the Holy Eucharist. And uh, today's uh, gospel, you offer us the peace and we need peace in the world, in our nation, in our families and within our heart. And give us a true peace that can uh, give us true joy in our life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us at the Five Saints Catholic Community. Uh, here at St. Cecilia's in Algona. Just a reminder for our Five Saints Catholic community if, that if you have a Lenten box for educated child in Haiti, please hang on to it until it's safe for those boxes to be returned to our parish offices or churches. I do hope that you are able to support this drive. Let you know that we hear from Monsignor Goose from time to time and our brothers and sisters in Haiti are experiencing shortages of food and high prices so please keep them in your prayers. We would like to, invite you, like to invite you to participate in a live stream mass for all our students and families this coming Wednesday, April 22nd at 8.30 a.m. You can connect to it through YouTube on our websites and Facebook pages. We will have a senior from West Bend Mallard, Algona High and Bishop Garrigan helping with the ministries of the mass. This is a chance for all our students and families to come together in prayer. Please join us on Wednesday. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God continue to bless us. In the name of the Father, in the Son, in the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Let's read it.